Is it okay? Is it okay? I got some more frosted explosion grass too because I had planted it, but then we rearranged all of the fencing out there and ended up killing it. So I don't know that it reseeded, but. And then I found a different amaranth, which I like. I, I grew the Joseph's coat and the Love Lies Bleeding. So uh, I wanted to try this one. This one says it's the edible red leaf. I think they're all edible, but uh, the other ones were so dang pretty. I just, I, I never actually tried it. It stopped there, so I guess I could. All right, so I got some more savory. Um, they had two different types. They have a winter and a summer one. And uh, I, my seeds are packed away, um, but I don't remember um, which variety I had. So I went ahead and got both. Um, I want to try onions. This is the um, new thing for this year, or the fall, that I want to try and start so that I have them ready for spring. So I got uh, the Sweet Spanish. And uh, I also got a different variety of celery, which it's funny, both, uh, both of these onions and the celery say they're the Utah variety, uh, but onions and celery, those are the ones that I want to try this time. These guys were just beautiful, so gazinia, I wanted to try those. Here's the winter savory. I'm pretty sure that the summer one is the one I planted because um, it doesn't look like what I have out there, but I don't know. Here's the two side by side. It smells so good, so I don't know. It's interesting. All right, so I got some more holy basil or the sweet Thai basil uh, because I love the way that smells. I got some Tasmanian chocolate cherry tomatoes. Uh, I had these, it was either last year or the year before, and uh, the plant got destroyed by hail before I could even um, get any of the seeds saved. So I was excited when I found those. All right, so I got a Cabernet onion. I got a Napa cabbage. Naya picked this one out simply because it's called a red warty thing <laughs> so fun looking one uh, I got some Romas uh, I will have the speckled Roma seeds from the ones I planted this year I will save uh, I got my eggplant seeds are really old so I went ahead and grabbed some black beauty and this is the one I grew this year which I've only gotten one off of so far and then hazel ate it stupid dog <laughs> I did pick up some green zebras just because they're so pretty so I want to try those I got some Romanescos just in case the seeds that I, I planted them and they just they didn't do well so maybe a fall planting they'll do better I got some cantaloupes which of course that won't be until next year I did get a honeydew I had one package of each of these, but they are so old, so I wanted to go ahead and get a fresh, a fresher one. I did get some jalapenos, some jalapenos, uh, just because I do like a little bit of um, fire in salsa, um, so, and because we can control how much or how little is in it, I wanted to be able to grow some. I got some more San Marzos. And then this flower, Cleom spider flowers. They're just really pretty. And then another amaranth, a burgundy one. So very pretty. 
All right, and then the last stack that I got was some hyssop. Honestly, it was the butterfly that made me buy the package, but then when I started looking at the flower, I was like, dang, that's really cute. I got some cayenne peppers because I absolutely adore this, even just in a plant with the little peppers on it. Um, but again, I want, you know, a little bit of heat for when I'm making my own since I finally, you know, tackled growing massive amounts of tomatoes. Um, I know that I can do it, um, but I want to be able to um, make my own salsa and stuff. So, okay, so this flower, Lobelia, I just, oh, it was pretty. It kind of looks like the moonflowers I planted. But they actually kind of look like little butterflies by themselves, too. I mean, if you look at that right there. Does that not look like a little butterfly? So, anyway, I wanted to try those. Stinking cat bolted when Daddy came in. And uh, thankfully I caught him, but he wants to go out, so. Hey, come back <laughs> And it's always this battle. He wants to go out, but he doesn't want to go out in his harness. Maybe just walk them for five minutes, okay, honey? Yeah. yeah. This one, this one wants to go out too, so. I can't, she doesn't walk like Stuart. Just put her on her thing, just let her sit. In the yard, get tired yeah. or something? Yeah, just let her sit out there while you're walking him, and then that way you're kind of keeping an eye on her. Huh, do you want to go out? These guys had a very good vet check. Um, Stuart who came from our neighbors um, he was supposed to have a microchip and uh, I have taken him to the vet several times now and they have not been able to find one and so we went ahead and got a new microchip so that now he is truly our boy this one um, used to be kind of a semi outdoor cat in that we um, had half of the garage converted with an outdoor run and then a couple of years ago, um, my husband built the how, uh, cat shed out there, the, the shed in the backyard that um, last year uh, we ended up converting into an office. Um, when her brother passed away, um, we transitioned her into being an indoor cat because uh, I didn't want her outside by herself anymore. And we don't let them run. And so she also now has a microchip. So they both got shots updated on all their rabies and uh, both got their microchips so this one is the only one that still has a vet check coming up hazel marie no no Ooh. hazel hazel come here come here good girl she um she's got to get fixed so she is coming up on her one year birthday next month so and she gets fixed next month Huh. So anyway, all my puppers and my kitties, to include the stray cat Essie that is uh, quarantined in Naya's room right now, um, they have all been microchipped now and um, are legit my pets. <laughs> so I think these guys, we need to catch up on their uh, rabies shots, actually. I think they're due. But other than that, all my critters have been caught up on all of their procedures and whatnot, which I have not done in a long time. So, okay. So then I also got this one. Nicotiana? Nicotina? I've heard it pr pronounced a couple ways. Uh, I had so many stinking hummingbirds this year because I planted so many different types of flowers and so I want to try this one and see if it brings um, hummingbirds and they stay a little bit longer because they they came and visited but they didn't stay long this zinnia was just gorgeous envy I don't think I had a green one I have the pink cosmos out back and I have the white Cosmos out back and I thought how stinking fun 
to have the pink and white in one flower. So we got candy stripes. Hi. Yes, go on. All right, and then I did get a mixed African daisy pack. Um, the daisies I did this year were just the orange ones, which were African daisies. But I like that this one I may be able to get multiple colors. All right, and then I got uh, yellow onions. So I basically got all three colors. And then Jimmy Nardello's. They're pretty. It says it's good for paprika and um, reminiscent of a roasted apple. So, yeah, I like that one. All right, and then I got a scabiosa pincushion flower, black knight. Holy cow, isn't that just gorgeous? And then this one was. Miss Jekyll blend, love in a mist. It's just so dainty. Oh, I love the centers of this one. So those will be new next year. Got some flax, scarlet flax, pretty. I got some Mexican sunflowers because Zachary Stivers grew some of these and I was like oh my gosh they're beautiful so because of his influence I had to buy some myself <laughs> I got some bunching onions Italian red of Florence they're pretty and then Naya because she's a sucker for pansies got Got the blues pansies. All different types of blues mixed together. I did not do good collecting seeds off of those guys this year. So hopefully next year I'll do better. Some Cinderella pumpkins. Because they're so cute. Last one is Amy. Um, again, it's got my butterfly on it. So sucker for butterflies and packaging. It looks like there's multiple colors in this too. There's pink, purple, uh, a bronze, and maybe a yellow or a white. So, fantastic, easy to grow cutting flower. I'm hoping with how well everything did this year, I um, can do some flowers in different areas and be able to sell some little bouquets in my farm stand. Um, so anyway, there's the dream, there's the hope. We're working towards that. So I got quite a pile. Oh, I have one more. Oh, Naya picked this one too. Just because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a popcorn, so yeah. My broom corn did good, so I know we can do it. I just gotta, you know, plan things and strategically place. But yeah, I thought, oh. So anyway, that was my fall investment of seeds so that I have them for uh, next season, next year, and uh, hopefully can double and change what I'm growing um, and have a much better draw of insects and hummingbirds and hummingbird moths and, hey, hound dog, hey, so... Oh, good girl. Good girl. Sleepy girl. Good boy. Alright guys, so just wanted to share the seed haul. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, always take advantage of every situation to learn from. Grow as you go. And we'll see you next time.